developing now in Cattaraugus County tonight. Police need your help tracking down the people responsible for damaging pieces of a histor of history or history rather at a local museum. Now the Salamanca Police Department posting this call for information on its Facebook page over the weekend. They say that someone vandalized several rail cars at the Salamanca Rail Museum. So tonight our Sydney York found out how much it will cost to repair and how you can help. The Rail Museum posted about this incident late last week. President of the Salamanca Rail Museum Board of Directors Christopher Costello says thousands of dollars in damage was done to its rail cars. Costello says on Wednesday they found over 30 windows smashed, a mannequin destroyed and several seats were torn apart. We're told the insurance policy that has been in place for several years doesn't cover the rail car, so the museum will have to pay more than $9,000 for repairs out of pocket. Most of that cost will come from replacing the car's specialized glass. Costello says you can't just buy at your local hardware store. He says each window costs around $300, and that does not include the installation. It's very upsetting. You know, we, we do de dedicate a lot of time to it and a lot of our own money. Uh, we make, you know, great steps forward and then we have something like this that puts us back. Um, you know, even if we had all the glass, everything there ready to go, you know, that's over 30 windows that we have to reinstall. That takes time. Costello says there is no security footage of the incident, but police have collected evidence he can't disclose at this time and police will continue asking the public for additional information. The Salamanca Real Museum has started a GoFundMe to help cover the cost of repairs. If you'd like to contact the museum directly, you can call 716-945-3133. Costello says they're always looking for volunteers to help in and out of crisis. You can find the links to donate or volunteer on our website, wkbw.com, right now. Sydney or 7 News.